Hey guys, my name is Laz, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we did some things, and then we got completely wrecked by the Ruined Sentinels. So in this episode, we're going to go to a different location that'll lead us back to the Lost Bastille. But we'll get some much-needed experience, and a few good items, and, you know, we might even fight a boss this episode. You know, that could even happen. <clears throat> so I have a bit of a, a bit of a cough right now. Sorry. Uh, but I have been wanting to play this again. I actually, in the mail, to, er, well, yesterday now, I got Donkey Kong 64 and the expansion pack for the Nintendo 64, and I've been playing that a little bit too much for my own good. But I have wanted to play Dark Souls because I feel like, I don't know, like, I love old school Nintendo games, but they're not challenging. And when I say old school, I mean Nintendo 64. When I think of, like, retro, that's like SNES, NES, but I don't know. Donkey Kong 64, it's not even that it's a hard game, there's just a lot of shit to do. Like, I never realized it when I was growing up, but god damn. You gotta get all the banana medals, you gotta get all the fucking colored bananas, you gotta get all the golden bananas, you got- What is with the game and bananas? I get it to monkeys, but god damn, you don't need that much potassium in your bones. You're gonna have a goddamn heart attack. And I like how so far I haven't even really talked about the game that I'm playing right now. You know, the one where I'm, I'm hitting this guy and he's not doing shit to me because... You know, that's what that's what happens when you have a tiny shield. You learn how to fight with honor and bravery. Mostly just being able to dodge the slow-ass attacks that... This is weak-ass sauce. Now we get to kill him. Hooray! You know what I'm actually gonna do? You know what I'm going to do. I am going to use a rusted coin so we can have a higher drop rate for some items. Because why the fuck not? Honestly is my uh, answer. Oh, you're going to do your three hit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not over there anymore. Oh, he did a sneaky little fourth hit. You think you're cool, bro? You think your shit don't smell? I have a secret for you. Your shit smells worse than everybody else. Oh, this is bad. Nope, it's not actually bad. I feel like these guys could be so much more intimidating if they were, like, twice as big. And if they could attack as fast as they are right now, but they were twice as big. Because then the sword would be twice as long, most likely. And then it would be just so much more fun to fight. Ooh, an item. Didn't know that was gonna... <gasps> Old Night Gauntlets! That sounds so cool! I'm going to put them on right now. Doesn't look that different. But, they are quite effective. Yes, indeedy. Oh, hello, elevator. What are you doing? Be wary of rear. Well, if it's not Triton Butthole, it has to be that, eh? Ha 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 Do 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 Danger zone. Is that actually going to go on the elevator? No. Where is that actually going to be put? Is that it? I suppose we will find out. Try jumping. Help me boss it. That's just not true. There's no boss up ahead. At least I don't think. No, no, no. There's not. There's not. God damn people making me doubt my better judgment. You know what? That is just rude. And you shouldn't do that to people. Okay? So, if you like how dark the screen is right now, you're gonna love this next area. This is how to be human. Horses in the trees. Light the bonfire. So look at that. Look at those lighting effects. Hello. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> you have a man mask on. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Uh, maybe the end of the Age of Fire. That could have uh, definitely yes. been it. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. No this problem. This is for you. <gasps> what is? 
Thank you. Of course, I have no idea what it is. Oh, you don't? Oh, basically, if you crush it and then slap yourself in the chest, you turn into a human and you get skin. By enemies it's and great. constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mirror. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. <clears throat> my sword and my loyalty to my lord. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. That's pretty cool. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. Hold on. Achoo! I had swift right, success on the battlefield and quickly attained respect. Ah, Achoo! And then I'm so I, sorry, I don't know what's coming over me. And then I came here to an undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. Whoa! She took off her mask! What does she look like up close? Huh. I've actually, I didn't even know she took off her mask. Oh, she's like burnt or something. I'm sorry. To burden you with talk of my fate. You're a I pirate. I've grown weary these days. I'm sorry. I... Okay, that's all she has to say. So I'm going to set the bonfire and then we're going to go. To where? Well... To a place that I uh, affectionately refer to as not a fun area to explore. No Man's Warp, ladies and gentlemen. The home of some of the most annoying enemies in the entire goddamn game. That's not a stretch. That, that, that's truth. I would love to summon somebody, but I don't. I didn't see anybody, so. And typically, they'd be by the bonfire. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this area very easily. Because there's one merchant that we have to talk to. That I really want to see how his quest line develops. Because I, I never get to see him because he's surrounded by really hard enemies. But, even if I have to break the trend that we have been having so far in this series. Where I've only died one time in each episode. I will see what this shit is about. Then there's this guy. Mr. Viking! Would you like to be my friend? Ow, you're so rude. Let me just drink from my son D. What up? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Stagger! I got the moves to stagger. You! <laughs> that wasn't very fun. It was clever, kind of, but it wasn't very fun. I'm so- oh, are you gonna throw things at me? Maybe I'll just kill you. Huh? How does that sound? So I heard uh, recently that YouTube might be uh, upping its frame rate to 60, which, can I just say, would be the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah, that backstab! Well, it wasn't really a backstab, but yeah, YouTube might- you might- so this game, I would say, at some points when it's doing really well, it runs at about 45 frames, but you've only ever seen it on my channel, like 24 or 5, whatever YouTube keeps it at. I'm gonna get this idea real quick. Soul of a Proud Knight, very nice. Oh, bye bye. Oh, he's alive! Well, I'm sure we'll run into him real soon. Dude? What are you doing? No. Oh, I love iron arrows. Oh, thank you so much. That's fire. Hey, hey, it's not nice to shoot people. Okay? I want a backstab. I want a backstab. I want to use the. There we go. Here's the backstab. Here's the backstab. Here it is, Johnny! Ja! Ja! Like, it doesn't, it doesn't even kill him. 
It's so upsetting. Okay, well, that's the end of that journey. Don't stop believing! Okay. Now I hate these Viking dudes more than the other enemies. Because they pack a hell of a punch compared to the other enemies. And they throw shit at me! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. It wasn't even a dodge, he just wasn't in range. Which is quite lucky on our part. Large soul lost him dead. So I decided that I'm gonna save all of these until I need to get a uh, better melee weapon. I don't know what I'm gonna make my main weapon be because honestly, I just, I haven't really liked any of the melee weapons so far. Do I not have any torches? Shit. That's not good. Oh dear. I have to fight these guys without torches? Are you serious? Well, this is gonna go great. Granted, killing that one was not good at all. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna have a good time with, like, the 70 other ones, does it? I mean, I could use a Pharaoh's Lockstone, like the only one I have, to make it a little bit easier on myself, but at the same time, that's almost a waste of a Pharaoh's Lockstone. But then again, I just, I just really don't know if I want to. Oh, hey, doggy. No, 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 you go back to your kennel, you bad mutt. Oh. Oh, well, that's what I call butt hurt. I'm sorry. I'll stop. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Pharaoh's lockdown. Ow, that was fire. And now it's in my chest. Ow, that's another fire. And now... The great chandelier shall be lit up. And this entire place is gonna get a hell of a lot brighter. Which is always good. These guys standing up from chairs that don't exist. Oh, Dark Souls. You silly. Ow. Don't throw things at me, you meanie head. What's in chest number one? Well, two, technically, in this area. I didn't really think about that. Whoa! That's a lot of stuff. Can I use it? any of it? Can I use the bandax at least? No. Definitely not. Brigand armor. Okay, um... Shit, because my durability on my broken straight sword is diminishing quite quickly. Which, I mean, isn't the biggest deal because, honestly, for the boss in this area, I need spells. And hopefully I can... I'll summon Luca. Oh, there's two of them. I did not see the other one. Y'all just need to stop. Just stop. No, 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 Sons of bitches. Oh, I got a new shield. What is it? Oh. I can't use it, of course. Why would I be able to use it? It's a useful item. What's in chest number three? Repair powder. Oh, I was just talking about eating you, friend. How many of those was it? How many of what? Oh, two. Aww. Well, isn't that just lovely? There's Luca's summon sign, but we can't get to that just yet. There we go. Yep. Okay, so... I don't have any I don't have any torches. So this area could be a little bit interesting. Actually, I only have two soul arrows. I'm not about to This is bad cuz I need to get up there. There's the, there's the merchant right up there. You could see him. He's he's looking at his jug of beer and he's like, "I'm going to drink this beer." Everybody else is like, don't drink that beer. We're in public. You shouldn't get drunk in public. And I'm sitting here like, hey, hey, you back up. Hey, hey, go away. Go away. So I guess I'll have to come back and do that after we fight the boss. Which I'm perfectly okay with. What are you doing? I'm trying to heal. Don't really heal while I'm fighting you. Do you know how rude that is? 
Oh, you gave me a sword? Well, I guess you're forgiven then. Just kidding, you're still gonna die. Okay, how come a dagger can one-hit kill somebody with a backstab? But nothing else could? Ooh, twisted skin. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get to summon him because his gamer tag kind of grossed me out. Not really, but you know. This is the cool, this is really cool. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I need to rewatch those movies. Actually, you know what would be a good thing for us to use all of uh, all of our souls for is the merchant that's coming up pretty soon that deals almost exclusively magic stuff or soul sorceries, anyways. So that'll be quite useful to us in particular because Greybeard needs some more spells, dude. He's slacking. All right, I only have four shots of this. So I'm gonna save one and I'll try to fight this dude, mano y mano. Wow, you do not take as much damage as I was hoping. <laughs> oh, see, these guys build up bleeding really quickly. Like that. Oh no, I am not dying. Not up in here. Okay, we're good. Damn, he dropped an item too? Look at this, look at this guy! He just walks in with his big ass sword? No. That's not even how I had to do it. I had to be a man. The way I had to do it was fucking ridiculous. Actually, now that I think about it, that merchant isn't that important. I mean, it would be nice to be able to... Or, I mean, not the soul sorcery merchant, the, uh, the other merchant. Gavlan. I would like to see Gavlan, which was the one with the tanker. But if I don't have the right... If, if, if my equipment isn't good enough to go fight those things, then I'm not going to. Because... I don't know, if I can keep the deaths under 50 in this entire series... I will cream my pants. That sounded a lot worse out loud than it did in my head. I assure you of that. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 hey. Stair blocker. Fucking asshole. Attack! Yes! <laughs> That's what it's all about. Luca! Luca, girl, come on, we gotta go. And now I'm gonna open up the shortcut, because shortcuts are just the best kind of cuts. You shouldn't cut yourself, because that would hurt. Life hacks with Laz. Yeah, you know it. Luca, come on, we're gonna be late for supper. Yeah, hurry the fuck up. Where are you? Come on. Maria, Maria! Luca, don't try to fight those things. Just don't, just don't. Luca, Luca, you're not gonna, okay. You did listen to me, thank you. If you, if you try to fight those guys, you're gonna die. And I don't want you to die. You're wearing the same thing as me, OMG twinsies. Hmm. Uh-oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah. Luca, you keep them back. I'll keep talking to old man Witherskin. You will see my old man Jenkins. Very well. Very well. Okay, so now we can buy. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, just all of those. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to use all. Wait, what? Luca? Wait, what? What? What just happened to Luca? I sw- She jumped off the fucking edge. Are, are you are you It is so hard to find good help these days, I tell you. You get people like Luca who are just- st 
stupid, I guess? Like, I, <laughs> there should be guardrails. That shit is dangerous. Oh, damn it, I only used one. I should use both. So I, I might use a few of the boss souls, actually, just because I, I don't know. The pursuer, you can't really get anything good. I'll keep the dragon rider one because I do want the dragon twin blade thing. Because I just like the way that looks. Dragon Slayer, don't really give a shit. Honestly. Okay. Hey, dude. You seek my teachings. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Look at all these things that we can have now. Oh, it's so wonderful. Alright, so I'm gonna get. Oh, it's, uh, it's like a candy shop. Great Heavy Soul Arrow, because why the hell not? That's always a good thing. Yearn, because we're gonna need that for a certain boss battle later. Uh, Shockwave, why the fuck not? Heavy Soul Arrow, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We just bought everything from no him. Do not. Oh, that's wonderful. Actually. Sir, I'm going to, uh... Ooh. Nah, those two are stupid. I don't want those. I want those. Yeah! No pupil, do not. Okay, so now I can hotkey these again. Because I have a bunch of them now. So that's always good. God damn it though, Luca. How do you how do you You had one job. One. Don't fall off the fucking edge. And what did you go and do? You jumped off the fucking edge? Yeah, you jumped over the goddamn edge! It's the one thing I didn't want you to do, and you did. So you know what? You've lost my trust completely. We're not friends anymore, Luca. I, I just wanted to be the one to tell you that. So the thing is, I know I can beat this boss by myself. It's just getting to the boss without dying. Being the main, uh... The main problem. Oh, hey, 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 you sneaky pants. You are an asshole. God damn it. Ah! Fuck sake, mate! Just fucking die! I swear to god, I will not die. Oh no! Oh, yeah! I'm really glad I was already healing. Okay. You're dead. I don't know why I used my last Estus, but. I mean, there you go. What is he shooting at? There we go. These guys don't even know where the stairs are. They're so stupid. Living? What's that? I've never heard of that brand of cereal. Have you heard of death? No, have you heard of de Damn it, don't walk away from me, you son of a bitch. Have you heard of death? Or maybe death? Yeah. You know, you know I'm about that life. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay. So now we are perfectly okay to go fight the boss. And this is honestly one of my favorite designs for a boss, but ah, I could die because of my own stupidity. But for the most part, and every I've never died to this boss ever. Like this boss is kind of a pushover, really cool concept, not, not so good of an ex execution. No. So we're gonna use dark magic because why the fuck not? It turns your weapon to purple. So. The Flexile Sentry, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, if you've never played this game, all you really need to do is make sure that this side with the maces is the one attacking you, and you're basically good to just run up and attack him right after he attacks. Not exactly a difficult boss. Granted, I could be using magic to make this a fuck ton easier, but... Over the fun. 
Oh, please, please, Mace, Mace, Mace. Yeah. I'm just get, just I'm just gonna show you guys how easy, like how overpowered magic is. Uh oh. There you go. I can just sit here. Hey, hey, no, 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 no swords. Hey, we talked about this. Hey. There you go. Ow. Stop turning! You're not supposed to do that. It scares me, okay? I don't want you to use the swords. You have a lot longer range with the swords. So just quit that shit, okay? It bothers me. Stop it! You're being that guy. We talked about this. Okay, or you could try to attack from over there, I guess. And if, that, if that's really what you want to do, feel free. I won't judge. Okay, I might I might judge a little bit, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna base my whole I'm not gonna I'm not gonna base all of my knowledge of you off that. You know, you're an easy boss. I get it. This area was quite difficult. Kind of. I mean, I didn't die once, which I'm very proud of, actually. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you gave it your all. And you're not really supposed to be a hard boss. You're just supposed to be the other way into the Lost Bastille if you couldn't fight the Pursuer. And, you know, that, that that's totally cool. That's totally cool. Really wish we weren't fighting water right now, bro. You should probably look into some floor drainage or something. I don't, I don't even know. Just fix this shit. It's, it's horrifying. It's disgusting! You putrid swine. I probably could have just finished him off right there, but I'm playing it safe. I don't. Honestly, because if I died in a really stupid way right now, we would have to go all the way back through. And I'm just not about that life, so you know how it is. You guys are fucking awesome. So, yeah, that was the Flex House Entry. <laughs> I mean, to, in his defense, he did put up quite a big fight. I mean, look at how much, look how many soul errors I have left. Yeah, exactly. Zero. Dun dun dun. Pyromancy flame and fireball. So that's pretty cool because now we can use a pyromancy flame. I don't think we're going to. We might use fireball once or twice. I don't know. If I ever do like a new game plus playthrough of this, maybe. And I figure if I'm gonna ever do. Let's play some of the DLC. I'll, I'll just use this character, New Game Plus. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, it, it, it'd, be, it'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, that was the Flexile Sentry, and I'm gonna be wrapping up the episode pretty soon. I'm gonna get to the uh, the next bonfire, which there's no enemies on the way there, so shouldn't take too long. But I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for all the support in this series. I really enjoy making Let's Plays, honestly. Uh, with me starting school again soon, I'm going to be putting most of my time into that. So my videos aren't going to have... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do, like, super highly edited videos and whatnot. But I'll put, it, I'll put in as much time as I have, honestly. And give me a sec to formulate my thoughts so I don't start rambling on and making false promises. But I want to do a top 10 like every month or so. Again, like, kind of like my top 10 Souls game, like Souls game bosses. Like, it, they're not the highest quality top 10s, but I put I put a good like 6 or 7 hours into it. And I figure it's, it's a nice change of pace from Let's Plays, because I get that not everybody likes Let's Plays, and that some people uh, just put on... Uh, Let's Plays to hear the to hear the guy commentating while they're doing something else, which I'm totally okay with if you guys just listen to me. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I used to do that a lot, too. Until I started actually making the videos, then I was like, dude, I, I, I need to watch this guy. Hey, bonfire, what you doing now? Okay, so we found the bonfire, so I am going to go back to Bajula, but I am going to try to do a lot more Let's Plays. Um, I'm going to be starting Mass Effect eventually. Um, the only thing about that, that is a very, very touchy game to Let's Play because of all the music. Because it is instantly copyrighted. I think I tried doing a Let's Play of it once, and it got copyright. It got a copyright strike like 20 minutes after it got uploaded. So that wasn't good, but, you know. 
Oh, fuck me, dude. I just realized I forgot about something in that area that is really important. God damn it. Right, I'm gonna up my strength. God damn how did I forget that? There was an Estus Flash Shard that I completely forgot about. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have to do that in another episode. So I'm going to attune my magic real quick. So let's look at... Uh, Shockwave is kind of cool. Magic weapon could be pretty useful, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just do that. So now we have Soul Arrow and a Great Soul Arrow. The Great Ones are great. <laughs> and that guy that we just met, uh, he's right here. Hey, dude. Oh, so you finally decided to join us. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm, I, I don't care, dude. I'm sorry. So let's check the deaths before we end the episode. Wow. It just goes up every time I click this. Oh, most of the times. Two, three, four. <laughs> it just went up by like ten. That's crazy. Okay, guys. So that's where I'm going to end it. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button, and without further ado, what is this? Beast ahead. Oh, okay. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!